Have you ever been so sure of yourself to end up showing that you know nothing? Today, that's Flatoid. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist. And today, we're taking another look at Flatoid, where he thinks FTFE made a blunder about what level is. LJ coming in again says, at what size does a sea ocean water start to curve? That's what it always curves. Water always curves. Small scale, like small lakes and ponds and your glass of water, is just so tiny compared to the earth that you can't see the curvature. Water is always curved. In fact, there's never a time when water is not curved. Thanks for confirming the point, FTFE. I appreciate your help. And like I said, it always curves, you just can't see it. So I've got an alternative level for you, which is more accurate than most laser levels. Certainly as accurate as anything you can get. And you can see that the water finds its own level. LJ coming in again says, at what size does a sea ocean water start to curve? Like I said, with such small surface area, the curvature is negligible. And the only reason a spirit level works is due to something that you claim doesn't exist. And that's gravity. Water is always curved. In fact, there's never a time when water is not curved. Water is always curved. In fact, there's never a time when water is not curved. If you were to do this exact same experiment on a larger scale, let's say over a thousand kilometers, and you can observe it sufficiently far away, then you will actually be able to see the curve between these water levels. On a side note, take a look at this image and tell me where this level is. Level. The same height at all places, parallel to a flat ground. At the same height as some reference, constructed as level with, and varied in frequency. There you go, giving a definition that completely destroys your point. Level, the same height or altitude. Not parallel to the flat ground, because flat and level, not always the same thing. Because you can have a slope that's flat, but not level. If that makes sense to you, Flatoid. Um, so I don't know what he means. Wow. Physics 101. Water always finds level when, when at rest. You're just, again, showing how little understanding you have when it comes to science and physics. So now, we've often described the physics of objects based on their mass. But when it comes to fluids, we mostly use a different quality, density, represented in equations by the Greek letter rho. I'm failing to see why having somebody explain density is supporting your point. Liquids seek their own level. Take a series of interconnected tubes of different shapes, pour colored liquid into one of the tubes that the liquid stands at the same horizontal level Again, if you knew what level actually means, you would realize that it's actually quite a stupid point to keep on claiming for a fluff. As level is defined as points having the same altitude. And altitude, you guessed it, is from sea level. And that sea that we are taking this altitude from is curving due to the immense gravitational force to conform to the shape of the Earth. Uh, that, well, no, water doesn't have its own physics. Physics 101, all matter just reacts to forces acting on it. So he's never used a water yes. level before. I did physics 101. <laughs> Flatwood, I'm going to leave you here with that schmuck, ignorant smile on your face because you clearly have no idea what's going on. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist, and I'll see you next time.